Hey, so welcome back to North Fork. I'm Derek. Thanks for joining us today. So today we're going to take Elvis and we're going to get him ready for winter time. So it's time to do that. It's uh, the end of November right now and it's about 32 degrees outside. We've been having some, some flurries on and off and they're calling for a couple inches of snow tonight. Probably not enough to plow, but it's got me thinking that I need to get this thing ready for plowing. Uh, last year, if you saw that video at all, um, it was a pretty popular video where I wasn't ready, I didn't have the chains on, didn't have everything ready to go, and we got a bunch of snow, and um, I had a lot of problems with that. Not how I thought it was going to go. I didn't make it very far. Uh, I stopped to move the camera and just got stuck. This year I want to make sure that, that I get everything ready to go for Elvis, um, so we're going to work on that here today. So Elvis is a 1981 GMC C7000. Uh, the truck is all-wheel drive and it's got a 10-foot plow on the front of it. And it's what we use to plow our two miles of dirt road. So Elvis has had a lot of miles on it, a lot of time in the salt and it's rusted out, um, but for what we use it for, works pretty well. It's got a 427 V8 big block engine in it. Um, overall, it runs pretty well, but for what we need, it works fine. So Elvis has been sitting here since the springtime when we parked it down here after the snow, and I haven't touched it since. So we need to make sure Elvis is going to start up. I think I started it once over the summer, probably June or July. So not even sure this is going to turn over. So uh, let's see what we can do. Well, that went pretty well. Uh, it took a little bit of turn in there to get it started, but uh, seems to be started fine and running fine. So we're going to give it a minute here to warm up, then we'll take it up to the house and uh, start working on it a little bit. First things first, we're going to start the uh, draining the engine oil out while it's warm here a little bit. This is a great design for the engine oil to come down right over the sway bar, but it is what it is on this truck. I've heard people say not to pre-fill these because you could get dirt in there, but I don't see a reason why a little extra oil in there to get it on the startup isn't going to hurt it. Make sure to lube up that O-ring. Good to go. So something else that we want to do is drain and fill the uh, axles with gear oil. So 
shortly after I bought the dump truck, I noticed a noise in the front end and that uh, was low on fluid, gear oil. And there's a bunch of shavings in it. So I've been changing this every year just to try to get those fi filings out of there and make sure everything stays as lubricated as possible. The front axle takes two gallons. The rear axle takes three gallons of fluid, but we're going to drain it out. And, yeah, nice and metal flakes. So I'm sure if you're going to run this on the road for thousands of miles at this front end would uh would cause a problem but for for what i do for a couple hundred miles well probably only 50 miles a year it, uh, it's gonna work fine so we're gonna let this drain out and put new gear oil in it here maybe you can see the uh, shiny metal particles in the oil as it's draining out it's so one other thing i want to do before this winter is i want to take this pin and this plow and move them up here to the, one of the either the middle or the top hole on this this is how the plow bolts onto the onto the frame of the truck. And with it being all the way down here so low, there's only about three or four inches of ground clearance and the, and the plow rubs on the ground and, and stuff like that when I'm driving in and out of the driveway. So I wanna bring this up a little higher. I usually have it up here, um, but last winter I had a problem that I had to take the plow off and that's all the higher I could get it at the time. So I wanna work on that and try to get that up there, mount it a little higher. one there see if we can get the other one raised up maybe to the top hole come back and get this one raised up so we'll kind of walk it up So I think that's where I'm going to run them. Uh, it's in the middle hole here. Gives me, this is a six by six, so about five and a half inches of clearance, six inches of clearance under here. So that should be good. So we'll, uh, we'll just leave it right there where it's at instead of fussing with it anymore. We are also going to change the rear axle fluid here, so we'll get this drain in. Probably don't need to, but might as well do it when I do the front axle fluid. So that doesn't look as bad. That looks pretty good from... Changing it last year, but we'll let it drain here and then get some new in it. All right, so get the gear oil back into the rear axle. Um, I bought this little pump. The rear axle wasn't so bad. The front axle is a little more tricky because of the clearance issues in there. But um, So anyway, it's this little 12-volt pump, so we'll see how that works. Got it all hooked up here. There's the oil going through the lines. really bogged down once it got to the pump there. It's pumping it, but it's going slow. I think it might stall out the motor on it. Really putting a load on the battery and the motor. I'm not sure I like that. It pumps it, but it's, it's really heating up these wires, really pulling a lot of amperage. All right, so I tried taking this little hose off this is a very small diameter hose. It's maybe only 3 16 of an inch. And I put a larger hose on the same size as the inlet. Seems to be going better. Um, it sounds like it's pumping a little better, not struggling as hard. So check it out. Seems much better going like that. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff here. We're gonna do a tune-up on Elvis just to make sure that he's running in tip-top shape. Uh, so we got an air filter, we got the distributor cap, we got a distributor rotor, we got a coil, we got the pickup. 
spark plugs, wires, and also a set of windshield wiper blades that we're going to put on. So let's get this stuff on. So we already got the new distributor cap, new coil in here. So just to make sure that we keep uh, the firing order correct, I'm going to take these spark blow wires off one by one and just transfer them over just to make sure that they stay on the cap in the correct orientation. And then when we're done, we can change the spark plug wires. For now, this is the easiest way for me to do it. Now I can just pull this out of the way. I can change my distributor cap and rotor. So that's the old one, get rid of that. Take off this rotor. You can see here, maybe you can see on this rotor how much carbon buildup you have on that. So yeah, it's time to change that stuff. So let's put the new rotor on. All right, there we go. And we're gonna put this cap back on, the new cap. The new coil and everything in it. Knock these wires back up. There we go. All right, so now that that's changed, now I can change out the spark plug wires and then I won't lose my firing order. So now we can pull these plug wires off one by one, change the plugs, and put the wires right back on. And we want to make sure we get the right length wire and we don't lose our firing order. So we double check the gap on the plugs. So that's right, so we can put them in. So once you get the last wire replaced and the spark plug replaced, it's time to put everything, everything back together and put the new air filter on. Alright, there's a new air filter. Alright, so the very last thing is to change these windshield wipers. They're pretty bad, pretty ratty. Just from setting out. They should work really well now. These other ones are pretty bad. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. So what you see in about 15 or 20 minutes probably took me about four or five hours just because I like to take my time, go over everything. You know, it's I haven't done some of this stuff in the past four or five years. So I just like to take my time, make sure it's done right, make sure that Elvis is going to perform when we need to because this is the only way we're going to make it in and out of our road. So let's fire it up and see how it runs. I'd say that's much better. It seems to run a little better. Um, take it for a drive here just to make sure everything works all right with it, but I'd say that was a job well done.
right, so we're down here on the road, and I really see them with it. Everything's running fine. I don't hear any weird noises other than the usual rattles. And so, we're going to call this one good. We're ready for snow. Let's bring it on. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. This is the joy of creating YouTube videos, moving the camera every two minutes to make a shot. But it's what we do. That's a beautiful sight. So is that one right there. Say hi, Axel. Puppy dog. You're a beautiful girl. You're a beautiful girl. Hi. Yes, even if you are wet. How'd you get all wet? Can you not hit us? Adam, you okay. need a coat. Adam, you need a coat. I know. I know. Addie, I want you over there. By the front of Mama's car. Do I have to do Adam and Asher, I want you back here. So what am I going to do? Tell me if I get close to anything. I don't want to hit anything, okay? okay. Yell at me. Loudly. Okay? So go up there. Stop! Yes, like that. Thank you. Good work, guys. Thank you. Now, go get coats off.